Hey everyone, uh, Tia here. My dear friend Cassie Lance has asked me to do a at-home workout for all of her members at CrossFit Waterside. So hello everyone at CrossFit Waterside. Uh, we're here to do the 5 p.m. class and I've actually never done something like this before so I'm super excited. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Cool. Just a few little things that I wanted to talk to you guys about before we get started is make sure that you have your own music just because I don't want my YouTube to um, shut off if I have music playing on the background due to copyrights and everything like that. Um, so make sure you do have your own music. Have some water because I want you to stay hydrated throughout this period. I'm going to do the movements every so often with you guys, but I'm also going to try and be communicating back and answering any questions that you guys may have throughout the workout as well. Um, today's workout I got from my online programming uh, T Fitness. So it is a workout that we can all do at home. No equipment is needed. Uh, and we're going to be doing some push-ups, some burpees, some lunges, and I've also got a little challenge to do some um, hollow rock holds to make sure that we're activating that core as well. So getting a nice variety throughout the whole movement. Um, by all means, throughout the whole thing, please, if you do have any questions, I will be going through any particular like movement standards and stuff before we start. Um, but please definitely go ahead, ask me anything that you want and I'll try and make sure that I answer them. Um, I'll just, I'll just bear with me while I'm scrolling through. Um, one of the things throughout this, uh, particular workout, because, uh, if you have a look in the description, I have tried to, um, write it down in the description so that you guys can see it is, uh, we're going to be doing as, you know, as many reps as we can possibly do. Um, ourselves okay so you know everyone is different we're all at different fitness levels and I think that this is a really great start to you know someone coming in and not knowing how many uh, reps they should do okay so for the first 50 seconds of the particular minute that we're doing it try and work as much as you can have that 10 seconds rest before transitioning into the next movement for the next minute so for those of the, you that are not sure what the workout is, it's a 16 minute EMOM, which means every minute on the minute for 16 minutes, we're going to do um, a particular movement. The first minute, we're going to be doing hand release push-ups. The second minute, we're going to be doing jumping lunges or alternating lunges. The third minute is going to be max burpees. And then on the fourth minute, we're going to be resting. However, I have put a little challenge in there for anyone that wants to challenge themselves a little bit more and this workout uh, seems to be, you know, a very comfortable workout for them. You'll do 30 seconds of a hollow hold. Again, I will demonstrate all of these and we'll make sure we warm up and cool down at the end. Now, um, for, for these ones, I'm going to be taking, you know, my time throughout the movement. I'm going to be focusing on activating my core um, and performing the movements a little slower. Please go at your own pace. Like I said before, it is a fantastic uh, opportunity for you to go and test yourself as hard as you want. Or if you want to, you know, if you had a really big weekend and you're just wanting to have a nice slow start to the week, please, by all means, just take the pace at your own level. There's no pressure here whatsoever. Alrighty, so just to demonstrate the actual movements, I'm just gonna tilt you down a little bit here so you can see. Alrighty, so our hand release push-ups, guys. You're going to be in a push-up position. You're gonna come down, make sure your hands release, and then push back up, all right? If you need to scale that, by all means, just make sure when we're pushing up, you want to keep this everything in line, okay? So we're in a push-up position. Knees are on the ground for those that want to scale. Come down, hands release, and up. Hands release, and up. Then we've got jumping lunges. So you're going to go down, 
That's why I've got this mat here, just to protect my knees. You can also do alternating lunges too. Again, depending on what level you're at, you don't have to go all the way down. So you can just go down, making sure that you can feel that stretch and those muscles working in the lunge, okay? So there's those three options. Then we've got our burpees. So our normal one, back, belly touches the ground, and give me a jump at the end. Okay, we've got that one. Or we have our burp, I'll turn on the side, coming out, coming back up, and jumping. Okay, so there are a couple of options. You can also step out as well. Step out and back in and give me a jump at the end. So please, by all means, pick whichever movement suits you personally. There is no pressure again on having to, you know, uh, feel like you have to challenge yourself. By all means, just do whatever is best suited for you. This is an awkward camera angle. I should probably come down onto my knees. Alrighty, so if there is any questions, let me just have a little scroll through. Um, so, okay, so everyone feels like they've got a better camera angle. Tia, your camera is too high. We do not see you on the floor. Okay, is that better? Sorry, guys. You'd think that I would know what... What I need to do, go full screen. Any idea how many calories this set might use? Okay, so guys, please take the first round, depending on your level, take the first round as a bit of a guide, okay? We have four full complete rounds. So when you do this, say for example, I'm on my minute one, I'm going to keep going for as long as I can throughout those 50 seconds. And I'm gonna make sure I have my, my mandatory 10 seconds rest to transition, okay? That's me, that's how I'm personally going to do it. You may wanna just do work for 45 seconds and you may actually try and get out as many reps as possible at a faster pace than I do but work for a little less. It, again, it's up to you, but in that first minute, you'll complete as many as you can. So if I get 15 hand release push-ups in that first minute, come when it comes to my second round of doing this, then I'm going to try and get to 16. I'm gonna con con constantly try and challenge myself, okay? I think uh, we've pretty much explained everything. Everyone should understand um, I just don't want to ramble. I want us to get on with it. Um, what difference between hand release push-ups and normal ones? Make sure, is it a scaled push-up? No, 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 hand release push-ups just slows it down a little bit. Please, just, uh, if you feel like just doing normal push-ups, you can. We're just changing it up, depending on, you know, what you've been doing the past couple of weeks. Cool, all right, I think I've covered everything for everyone. All right, so just a little um, warm up to start us off. So guys, I just want us to interlock our hands behind our back and just stretch out our chest, all right? Just feel that stretch. If you have a band around, you it doesn't have to be a particular band but just something and i want you to do 10 circles if you don't have a band that's okay we're going to do 10 circles without the band 10 one way 10 the other six All right, that were big circles. Now we're going to do little circles. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the other way. Awesome. All righty, guys. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to drop a knee, okay? I want you to really make sure that your knee is directly over your, your ankle here, okay? 
and you're dropping the hips and then leaning on the opposite side of the leg that's out. We're going to stretch just a little. Alrighty, and the other side. Cool, I just really want us to open up our hip flexors, especially when it comes to jumping lunges. From there, I want you to touch your toes, walk your hands out, come into a push up, and then walk your hands back, uh, your feet back into your hands. Okay, do that five times. That's two. That's three. You should be feeling it through your hamstrings, guys. That's four. That's five. Awesome. Now, I'm just gonna move this around. I want us to come into a wider stance. We're going to come down. I want you eventually trying to get as low as you can. If you can't get that low, that's okay. I really want you feeling that stretch in between your legs. We're gonna alternate from side to side and do 20. 10 on each side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep doing another ten, guys. I just want to make sure I'm getting all your answer, uh, questions. Yep, it's a 16 minute MRAP, four rounds in total. Cool, all right. So guys, by now you should have completed your side uh, squats. Just, uh, if there's anything else, I'm gonna give you guys two more minutes to warm up anything in particular that I may have missed out. I feel good. I feel limber, but if you feel like there is anything that you need to just stretch a little bit more, I'll give you two more minutes. I'm gonna set up this clock here so that you guys can all see. And it's going to be a timer. Again, if you want to have a timer on your, uh, at your home, by all means, go for it. It's almost three up here. Um, and I think that's pretty much everything. Make sure you have your music, your water to stay hydrated is very important. And then we've got our clocks. Uh, make sure that we're here. So on an EMOM, we're trying, we've got to do a specific amount of work in that particular minute and then move through that. An MRAP is as many rounds and, and you know, reps as possible in that particular time frame. Alrighty, one last look of the workout just in case. Yes, I'm going to save this. It's actually on my T Fitness uh, Instagram page as well if you guys want to have a look at it. All right, guys, I think we're good to go. I need to stop rambling and just hit the uh, hit it. All righty. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Max hand release push-ups, guys.
Keep going, guys. Keep going. I want you guys to make sure you're keeping your glutes nice and tight, okay? We want to keep that midsection nice and tight so it's not sagging and we're not leaving it on the ground. Squeeze that bum and you're good. You have 20 seconds to go, guys. Let's keep going. No rep, no rep. Let's go, guys. Come on. It's very fun. All right, get ready to change over to the next one. We're doing jumping lunges or alternating lunges. One, change. I like using my arms. Just a little bit of momentum. You can use both arms if you wish. If you want, you can also step back. Just change it up a little bit. Make sure you're keeping count so that you're staying accountable throughout the whole 16 minutes. All right, 20 seconds to go. Like I said before, I'm going to rest these, these 10 seconds. We're going to do burpees now, okay? And let's go. Just give me one more at least. Three, two, one. All right, for those that are challenging themselves, you're going to be doing your 30 second hollow rock hold, or you're just resting this minute. Keep holding, guys. Make sure guys, if, yeah, if you are feeling any back pain throughout your burpees, I want you to make sure you're not snaking too much. Keep that torso nice and tight, squeeze the glutes, and that should help control the back muscles a little bit more. All right guys, have a water if you have to. We're starting our second round now. Let's go, I'm just gonna open up the window. It's getting warm in here. And let's go guys, hand release push-ups. If you have to, go on your knees like this. Let's go guys, come on. Keep it going. Yeah, guys, if you are feeling any sort of discomfort in the lower back when you're doing your burpees, just make sure that you're not snaking too much, okay? So for those that snake and get the back pain, you're putting too much pressure on your lower back by doing that. I want you to stay active, squeeze that bum, come down, and then that should help reduce any, any pain that you may have. All right, guys, now we're into our alternating lunges. Oh, we or we're doing our jumping lunges, okay? Challenge yourself, all right? You know what it feels like, you've done one full round already. So just keep pushing, all right? You can do it. Let's go, that's 40 seconds. 
40 seconds to go. Yes, I believe the workout will still be, uh, it will be on my um, YouTube channel as well as CrossFit um, Waterside because they are the ones that have inspired me to do this today. Uh, can I get a little shout out from all my members uh, at C CrossFit Waterside? Um, they definitely, uh, this is actually their five o'clock class that they're doing. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it. I don't know why I'm out of breath. Whenever I'm talking and doing workouts, I'm always out of breath. <laughs> all right, guys, come on. You're meant to be doing your burpees now, okay? So if you got 15 last time, let's try and aim for 16. Make sure you keep those glutes nice and tight. Um, personally, so what is my recommendation for push-ups? Is it out or in nice and tight? I prefer to keep them in nice and tight. I don't want to have them too far wide because then I'm putting too much um, strain on the shoulders. So keeping them nice and close, about shoulder width apart, that gives me a really nice, uh, a nice range of motion and it doesn't put too much strain on my shoulders. We'll see, Holly, how, uh, how this one goes and if everyone at Waterside really enjoys it, we'll see how we, how we go. How do I breathe during burpees? I just find a rhythm. All right, guys, you're on your second round of rest. Make sure you hydrate, okay? Get ready for the third round, or if you're challenging yourself, you're doing the 30 seconds hollow hold, okay? So this hollow hold, you're either in this position here, or if you wanna make it a little easier, you can bend your knees and bring your arms down. We wanna make sure that our back is flat on this ground. We don't want any arching, it's gotta be flat. So you're gonna tilt your hips up to make sure you avoid any back pain, Tilt your hips up, think ribs to hips, and that's going to give you a nice, beautiful dish shape, and you're gonna activate your core and use your core through this. You have 10 seconds remaining until we're onto our hand release push-ups again, guys. This is round three. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, guys. You're halfway through. Well, you're technically over halfway through now. So let's keep going. I want you to keep pushing through it, okay? How long have I been training CrossFit? Since 2013. Um, thank you, I hope everyone's doing safe as well. I know it's crazy times right now. Um, we're all isolated and doing what we can to stay active and, and just keep on going day by day with not even knowing what's coming up. But just remember guys, we're going to be so much better for this because we're gonna learn so much. And also we're going to just do, uh, we just can only focus on what we can control. So make sure you're not overwhelming yourself with too many things that are outside of your control. Um, some of the things that I've been trying to do is actually switching off the news. Of course, I wanna stay informative. All right guys, into our second minute, we're doing our jumping lunges. And we're also into our alternating lunges. So whichever one you've chosen, you are on your second last round. So maybe try and just make it a little more challenging. But um, yeah, every now and then we'll just flick off the news so that we're thinking and, and trying to say a little bit more positively rather than constantly hearing um, like, you know, the negativity that may be coming out of there. Um, what other questions do we have? Um, all right, guys, you got 10 seconds before we got to do our burpees. All right, I'm going to do these ones with you. So let's go. Let's try and beat our last two scores. Three, two, one. Let's go.
20 seconds to go. Come on. Just picture me there in your face cheering you on. Let's go, guys. Come on. You have 10 seconds and then you can rest after this. Let's go. You have six, five, four. Give me one more. Three, two, one. All right, rest time. Or you're onto your 30 second hold, hollow, hollow rock hold, okay? So, guys, please take this time to lower the heart rate. I know I only did like 10 burpees and I'm super puffed. But uh, I want you to either hydrate, stay hydrated throughout this. Make sure that you're getting ready mentally to just keep pushing through. You have one more round, all right? And it depends on how hard you wanna push on this one, okay? So you've done a fantastic job throughout this already. I want you to keep putting in that effort and I want you to just push that, dig that little bit deeper, okay? Um, uh, my per programming personally, it has definitely been affected. You know, I'm trying to focus on the things that I can control. You know, I'm doing a lot more at home stuff. All right, guys, come on. This is our last one. All right, you're going to be doing hand release push ups. I want this to be your best round yet. All righty. Um, but yeah, in terms of my, my training, I am doing the absolute best that I can. Uh, we, we do have a garage gym uh, at Matt Fraser's place and we've been going there and trying to uh, get as much training in as possible with that. Um, but we, we do have limitations with that due to you know, the height and, and the, the amount of equipment that we may have, but we are just doing the absolute best that we can. All right, guys, come on. You have 15 more seconds, all right? Now you're, on to, you're going to be going on to jumping lunges. Jumping lunges in 10. So let's get out. Come on, let's get out another five push-ups if we can. Come on, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, jumping lunges now. Let's go, let's go. I don't, I don't train every day. Uh, I do try and focus on the body. And, and listen to what the body is trying to tell me, you know, if I'm feeling a little bit lethargic or if I'm feeling too tired. I don't wanna overdo it and burn myself out. So, you know, if I haven't had a rest day in, in a week, then I'm definitely going to be having a rest day. Um, come on guys, 30 seconds. Let's go. Our last round of jumping lunges or alternating lunges. Use the momentum with your arms. Um, yeah, so make sure guys, if you do want to take a day off, just listen to the body and, you know, have, have a day that you can have off. You got 10 seconds to go guys. Come on, 10 seconds. And then we're into our max burpees. I want to see this your best round yet. All right, let's go guys into our burpees. We're going to be crushing it. Um... How did you overcome your lower back injury when you started weightlifting? Ah, uh, that's a great question. Come on, guys. 45 seconds left. Um, you know, I just I made sure that I went and seen the right people and got the right treatment for my back. And then I also went and did all the the necessity of like um, rehabbing and making sure I, I wasn't overdoing it. Again, listening to the body. Come on guys, 25 seconds, come on. This is your last one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. You have 16 seconds, guys, 16 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, guys, come on now. To make it 16, let's do our hollow holds together, okay? For 30 seconds. Let's go, guys. We're almost halfway already. Come on, 10 more seconds. Come on, really feel it. Make sure that that back is flat on the ground and you're in that dish shape. Three, two, one. Woo! Good job. Well done, guys. Well done. I'm so impressed. 
Um, that's awesome, guys. Uh, no, I, I don't eat the same amount of food on uh, non-training days. Uh, I don't really need to have as much food as what I would normally on a training day. And, um, you know, I yeah, I, I definitely don't want to overeat. All right, guys. That's your full 16-minute EMOM. Now, I want you guys to have some water. Make sure you're staying hydrated throughout this. Uh, what we're going to do now is just take a little bit of time. If you can turn your music down a little, even putting on some relaxation music. I always like to change the music up just to, you know, make the mood just a little bit nicer and more relaxed. You're going to be feeling a little hot, a little sweaty. So I want you to focus on your breathing through this and we're just going to do a few little stretches just to make sure that we don't pull up too sore tomorrow uh, and that we can get on with the rest of our afternoon. It was a real honor to, to be able to train with you guys. Um, so to start off with, we're going to keep both legs nice and straight in front of us and you're gonna lean forward. I don't want you ever doing it, but I want you leaning forward, grab hold of your shins or your knees as long as you can feel that nice big stretch all the way down the back of your legs. And if you feel like you've got a sore spot, guys, please make any recommendations and I'll uh, think up of a, a, a stretch that we can do. So just keep holding that stretch. I'll look for your recommendations. Keep holding the stretch. My, my, sh my workout playlist changes every day, um, but I definitely love a bit of variety, that's for sure. Nothing, nothing heavy metal though. I don't know how I feel about that. Alrighty, now slowly we're gonna come back out of that stretch, okay? And I want us to so st um, sit on the side and I'm gonna, we're gonna spread our legs and fall forward. If you can only get to here, that's okay. We're going to lay, uh, try and fall down over. Ugh, got a bit tongue tied there. We're going to fall down so that we can try and feel that nice big stretch down the middle of our legs. I'm trying to just be conscious of our time here, guys. So, you know, you can hold this for about 30, to, so 30 seconds to two minutes. It's completely up to you. Um, but I want you to come over to one side, really feeling that stretch up your side and a little over your left leg. And then come to the other side. If you can, hold on to your foot. And then see if you can get a little deeper by coming into the middle. I'm really feeling that stretch down the middle here. I probably say this is like my favorite stretch. All right, we're gonna stretch out our quads. So if you can find balance, I want you to get your back leg so we're going to look a bit like this. And you should feel all the way up your quad. Again, holding for about 30, 30 to two seconds to two minutes. It depends on how, how tight you are. And then we're gonna change legs. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Um, you know, like I said at the beginning, it was a great start to start off the week. It wasn't too strenuous where you're going to be exhausted from the beginning of the week, but it got you moving and it got you working a variety of muscles in your shoulders, in your legs, and throughout your whole body. Um, and that's something that I've definitely uh, wanting to focus on when it comes to programming 
Uh, if you're limited to particular movements, it's so important to make sure that you do have that variety so that you're not overusing the certain uh, body uh, muscles. Um, and yeah, because then obviously you're going to start, you know, overusing it and you could cause an injury. Um, so guys, I just want you to drop forward. Really again, coming in and feeling the hamstrings. The reason I'm tapping into a lot of hamstring stretching at the moment is because a lot of comments were saying that they get lower back injuries. And it can be from a variety of things, but if you uh, have really tight hamstrings, it's going to, your hamstrings are gonna pull down onto your glutes, which then your glutes get really tight and then your lower back gets really tight, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're staying mobile through the back side of your body so that you can reduce any of that lower back pain. So stretching is very important. Um, I know all your coaches out there probably try and reiterate that to you on a daily basis. Um, and they're not trying to be annoying, but they're just trying to help you, all right? so. Make sure you do stretch out those hamstrings for those that do get lower back pain. Hopefully that helps with the problem. If it doesn't, then definitely go and see uh, a health professional and, uh, and ask them what their recommendations are. All right, just before we go again, I wanna stretch out our shoulders. So if we can, we'll go to bring our arms behind us and move our butt away. And you should feel a nice big chest stretch. And you should also feel up through your biceps, through your forearms. And the further you bring your butt away, the harder the stretch, okay? So really feeling that stretch, especially for those pull-ups, uh, push-ups. This is really, really good to open up that chest. Especially for those that have been on their laptops all day for work. Alrighty guys, I hope that you have all enjoyed spending this last, uh, I don't know, what, what's the time, um, this, this workout with me. Um, thank you so much. Any recommendations? Oh, for sleep, uh, I try and get at least between seven and eight hours sleep uh, a night. Obviously, sometimes that changes. Um, but definitely making sure that you're getting a nice uh, long sleep. Uh, eight hours is ideal. And you're letting your body recover. You're also recharging your batteries. And you're going to be able to get a lot more out of yourself through like um, mentally thinking and, and being able to physically do stuff as well. Um, I think that sleep is definitely a huge factor in how you perform in whatever it is that you, you do. It is a rogue timer. It is the best little thing. I actually, I, I bought it um, once I realized we're all going into isolation and I've been able to take it from one side of the house to the other. It's been super convenient. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that little workout. Uh, it was from my online programming, T-Fitness. Um, so if you are looking for any programming, I know uh, obviously the members at CrossFit West, uh, Waterside have a, a great range of coaches that are there to support them through this hard time. Um, and they are absolutely incredible coaches and, and legends. Um, so it was an honor being a part of that. And I'm so um, grateful that they asked me to do this and be a part of this. Um, so thank you so much for having me. Uh, everyone at Waterside CrossFit, you guys are amazing. And um, yeah, if you are looking for another variety, just uh, hit me up on Instagram or check out my Tia Fitness one on Instagram and it gives you a lot more information on my online programming. So uh, if you have any other questions, please let me know, drop it down. I'll, uh, I'll try and reach out to you guys personally. Um, but other than that, stay healthy, stay safe, stay clean and look after yourselves guys. Stay in isolation and make sure that, you know, you're focusing on what you can, can control. Bye guys, bye for now.